Logging into Shortel 14, the user interface will look very familiar to anybody that's worked with Shortel uh, since about <clears throat> version 12, I guess. Whenever we changed uh, to platform hardware, the interface is basically unchanged. You will note, however, that under maintenance, where you previously had Quick Look, uh, we still have Quick Look, and we can see our sites just as we did before. We can look at uh, connectivity and see uh, the TMS connections between the switches. Here, I've got a trouble uh, situation, which I've uh, purposely caused for purposes of demonstration. But as you can see here, uh, the Las Vegas user switch, switch one, uh, is in an unknown state with respect to the soft switch or the Shortel headquarters, and also the user PRI switch at that. These guys can see each other, this guy can't. And in a quick look, you discover the same thing. You can see green is good, red is bad. Yellow means something needs attention. We have uh, headquarters server information. We have uh, event information, everything at the very top level. And therefore, if I see red, I want to drill down on that. And here at this site, I appear to have one switch. And for some reason, we have uh, lost communication with that switch. So the big change, however, is that we now have a link here called uh, diagnostics and uh, diagnostics and monitoring and when we uh, click on that link and you'll see that uh, you'll see the link appears here go to diagnostics and monitoring so if you're in quick look you'll see it you'll also see it as a link on the side here and when you click on that link it'll take you to um, It'll take you to the diagnostic monitoring page. I have found out that uh, it's not uh, particularly happy with certain versions of uh, IE, so be careful. Of that. Actually, I find that Firefox is a little more friendly. But this is it. This is uh, very cool. Um, I'm afraid that uh, users, uh, user features, uh, they won't be too excited about it. But those of you who are engineers and technicians and are responsible for fixing stuff will find this really excellent. When you come into the Shortel Diagnostic Monitoring, um, you will come into the dashboard mode. And along the left side of the page, we have various uh, self-explanatory uh, links across the top. You will see some quick um, indications uh, of what's going on. We can see our connections, trunk groups, bandwidth, voice quality, switches, servers, etc. And down in the dashboard section, uh, call, volume, bandwidth utilization, the high, highest feature utilization, highest average CPU usage, uh, a lot of great information is captured here. Uh, if you go to status information, you can uh, revisit uh, key areas of the system. Uh, this looks a lot like uh, Quick View. Uh, sites, we can look at our sites individually, see the status of um, the various sites clearly but the Las Vegas sites got a big problem we see that up here at the high level we've got uh, warning messages error messages and you can go drill down on any one of these uh, for further detail take a look at your servers 
um, see the states of your various services, restart uh, services, create uh, database snapshots, uh, take a look at your IP phones, um, manipulate the phones, and look at individual call records. There's just all kinds of uh, detailed information uh, that previously you had to um, use different aspects of the system, perhaps having to tilt it into switches and things of that ilk. Um, here we can see our trunk groups. Uh, we have a SIP trunk group up and running, a, a PRI. You can take a look at uh, voicemail. Uh, you can look at your individual uh, servers if, in fact, you do have uh, Make Me Conferencing, etc. And uh, you'll find uh, this to be a very useful tool. I wanted to highlight one particular um, prior to version 13, Shortel SIP. Uh, since Shortel, I've been using SIP uh, at the very onset, long before standards were formulated. Uh, their standard Shortel SIP was not compliant uh, with with uh, the latest uh, standards. And uh, even today, with version 13 and 14, where Shortel has really started to uh, ratchet down the uh, SIP compliance, um, I found that the SIP diagnostic tools were very difficult uh, at best. I have another clip on Shortel SIP, and, and we'll take a look at that. But what's really exciting about the diagnostic monitoring uh, is that we now have a diagnostic uh, capability that includes remote packet capture. So when you click on the remote packet capture, it'll take you to a space in which you can uh, select, for example, um, let's say that I want to take a look at uh, this switch here, and I'm going to say Start Capture, and it's going to pop up an opportunity for me to um, indicate what it is I want to capture. So in this example, what I want to do, first of all, I don't want to capture for 20 minutes, and I don't want to capture everything. What I want to capture is about, uh, I don't know, three minutes. And I'm only interested in SIP TLS. And at that point, if we go ahead and s start that, um, it's going to set up a packet capture and understand this is a remote capture. I'm on uh, running this diagnostic package on the headquarters server, but uh, what we're going to be looking at is packets captured from the switch. Uh, this is where I have my SIP proxy, and um, I want to take a look at those SIP messages. The the capture will run, and eventually the capture will complete. I'll show you that in a minute, but in the interest of speed, I'm going to go ahead and look at a previous capture. So here, uh, we've got our captures are listed down here, all the previous logs. And uh, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and click on the captured file. Now, it's a PCAP file, and here's what's really exciting. If you are running. Uh, Wireshark, it's going to go ahead and open up Wireshark, and you will be uh, able to look at the packet capture of files within uh, Wireshark. And for those of you familiar with Wireshark, um, it's an extraordinary tool for uh, taking a look at uh, SIP uh, components and uh, setting up various event filters to look at your uh, SIP and uh, we can you know trace a phone call right from the invite message through the various uh, again this is not a tutorial on Wireshark it's a tutorial on the fact uh, that Shortel has now built in a diagnostic monitoring a tool built right into um, the server, and it has some uh, very useful uh, tools 
but uh, the one that uh, we're very excited about here is uh, diagnostics and the ability to do remote packet capture. You can do this on switches, on phones. You, uh, you'll find it to be very, very useful. So I suggest at this point that you go ahead and add uh, Wireshark just as part of your standard deployment on your uh, headquarters server. Um, and when you uh, need it, it'll be there. After running a packet capture, you can go ahead and just go ahead and uh, start your capture and you'll find that uh, it's a really very useful tool. I hope you have found this uh, clip informative and I thank you for viewing.